love of my life. Well, today is the day. We are finally getting married. It is crazy to think about everything we have gone through and everything we have experienced together that has gotten us to this point. I sit here and smile while writing this letter because I cannot contain my excitement for today. I feel like I have been waiting for this day for forever, and it is finally here. There's so many emotions going through my body and heart as I think about today. Excited, happy, joyful, lucky, somewhat nervous and anxious, and everything in between. I know once I see you, all of those nerves will go away. Let's enjoy this beautiful day. I love you so much. See you at the altar. Don't be late. Love you forever and always. Your bride. All my heart is on her sleeve And this blood is washing clean Through my lungs The air she breathes Back into my veins and saves again the life of hope Fall Through the safety drop Let the city talk Let them see our light Burn Let the fire burn Rising through the As we gather in this beautiful church on this very warm and sweaty afternoon, my mind goes back to how this all began just over seven and a half years ago. Jared tells me that what he remembers most about that evening was that he was sweating profusely. Not because it was warm outside like today, but because he was extremely nervous. It was actually the middle of winter. They were at the Elephant Bar. He had a gift card there, and he'd asked this beautiful sophomore that he had recently met on, his, on a date together. He was nervous whether Taylor would find something she liked on the menu, but he breathed a deep sigh of relief when he found out that there was chicken fingers on the menu, and <laughs> Taylor shared with him that that was her favorite food at that part of her life. And that's how it all began. They had a wonderful time together. And they began dating and spending much more time together. Much of the time they spent over the past seven and a half years have been centered around sports. Whether it was the soccer field, or whether it was the baseball field, whether it was the football field, whether it was basketball, whether it was hockey, there was lots of time they spent together cheering each other on and supporting each other. They spent time together at Western Michigan University as they both received scholarships there. I'm told that they cheered each other on greatly. In fact, Taylor would often drive by the baseball field and just yell Jared's name out loud while he was practicing. And of course, all his friends knew who it was who was shouting at him. Then it was just about a year and a half ago. It was May 26, 2016, when they were celebrating their six-year anniversary. They went to a Red Wings game together in the afternoon. As they were going back home, Jared pulled across the street from the family home to where there's a nice little place with water and a pond and asked Taylor to get a large present out of the back of his car. She was hoping that perhaps it was that camera she had been longing for for quite a while. But the box was much bigger than that and so she opened it and there was a beautiful purse inside and Jared told there was something else inside and it looked kind of like a camera, almost like a underwater camera and then she realized it was one of those Viewmaster things that many of us played with, with as kids. There was pictures in there of their relationship with words underneath and the final picture had the words look up written underneath and she looked up she saw Jared there on one knee the ring, asking him to be here, asking her to be here today. 
to become his wife and friends forever. The friendship of Taylor and Jared that's been centered so much around sports is a great way to reflect on the readings we heard today from the Bible, from the book of Genesis. We heard about how God desires for a man and a woman to come together as one body, as one team, to put it a different way, to be there to support each other, to cheer each other on in life, in the good times and in the bad, in sickness and in health, and everywhere in between where the adventure of life takes them in their journey together. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church, so in the presence of the church's minister in the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. So in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Jared and Taylor, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your hands and declare your consent before God and His church. I, Jared, take you, Taylor. I, Jared, take you, Taylor. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Taylor, take you, Jared. I, Taylor, take you, Jared. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Jared and Taylor, may the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll now have the blessing in exchange of the wedding rings. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Taylor, receive this ring. Taylor, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Jared, receive this ring. Jared, receive this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And now, it is a great privilege and a joy to introduce you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Jared Kajawa.
evening, everyone. <laughs> For those of you who do not know me, I am Taylor's older sister, Lauren, and one of her maids of honors. I wanted to thank all of you for joining Taylor and Jared in celebrating this amazing day. I also wanted to say thank you to our parents, Julian and Lori, and Jared's parents, Chris and Gary, for making this beautiful day happen. I have known Jared for a while now, even before him and Taylor started dating. It started about seven and a half years ago when Jared and a group of our friends decided to go bowling one night. <laughs> Everyone met up at my house before, and, uh, and Taylor was sitting at home with no plans. I could tell right away that Jared was interested in her because he had asked her to come along with us. But of course I didn't let that happen because I had a little bit of a crush on Jared at the time. <laughs> and definitely did not want him dating my younger sister. The whole night he was trying to get Taylor's number from me and wouldn't stop until he got it. Looking back now, I'm so glad he stayed persistent on getting her number because if not, well, we wouldn't be sitting here today. Taylor, you look exactly like I pictured you would on your wedding day. Absolutely stunning. I am so lucky to call you my little sister and best friend, and I couldn't be more proud of the woman you have become. I cherish all the memories we have shared together growing up, and being your maid of honor has given us so many more that I'll never forget. You have the biggest heart, and you light up any room you enter with your spunky personality. Thank you for always being there for me, and I will always be here for you. Jared, <laughs> thank you for treating Taylor like the princess she is, and always being there for her when she needs you. As her older sister, there's no other person I would let take her eight hours away from me other than you. <laughs> Just always remember that she will need sister time, so I'll be down to Virginia visiting often. <laughs> Even though you have been a part of our family for a while now, it's finally official and we couldn't be happier to have you. You both are so lucky to have each other. You bring out the best in one another and I've enjoyed watching your love grow these past years. So before I hand it over to Abby for her part of the speech, I wanted to end by saying I wish you guys a lifetime of love and laughter. And I can't wait to see what your future holds. I love you both so much. <laughs> I love you. All right, thanks, Lauren, for warming everyone up for me. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, I'm Abby. I'm Taylor's younger sister and also one of her maids of honor. Um, so I'm going to read you guys a little poem that I wrote for Taylor and Jared. And here it goes. <laughs> For the bride and groom on their wedding day, surrounded by loved ones, there's no better way. Here to celebrate their love that is so strong on this special day that we've awaited for so long. Seven years ago, he swept our sister off her feet with his looks, his charm, and not to mention a three-sport athlete. They were perfect for each other that didn't take much to know, and from there on out, their connection continued to grow. Jared came into our family like the brother we never had, but even more important, as some backup for our dad. His company on vacations made our trips even more fun, and after spending a week with us sisters, I can't believe he didn't run. They were put to the test when Jared left for Kalamazoo, but before we knew it, Taylor was signing there too. They were each other's biggest fans in the sports that they played, and throughout their years in college, that support didn't fade. Their relationship has modeled what love should really be, having patience with each other and loving unconditionally. I look up to you both for the incredible bond that you share. Always sticking together, you truly are the perfect pair. Jared, thank you for being there for our sister and cherishing her like you do. It's a little easier giving her away, knowing she's safe with you. Just remember to agree with her because Taylor is always right and buying her some gummy bears will fix almost any fight. And Taylor, as your little sister, it's been an honor to stand by your side. Needless to say, I have never seen a more beautiful bride. Thank you for being my sister and the best friend to this day. And just remember in the future, I'm only a phone call away. I love you both so much and wish you nothing but the best. A life full of happiness and a marriage that is blessed. So let's all raise a glass for the new husband and wife. Here's to the memories that will be made on this journey we call life. Taylor, you look very beautiful today. And I heard it was a rough morning, but I'm glad when we saw you, it was way better than what it was explained. 
Um, I hope you're excited to join the family, because uh, I know we're excited to have you. I know you've been real excited for this day, and it really shows because it's awesome. Now that Jared finally married, you can finally say I have a fame member that's good at golf, Mr. Peroni. It's awesome at golf, way better than Jared. Being a best man for Jared's wedding is a real, it's an honor. Um, the way he asked me is just a classic Kajawa way. We were driving home from golf. I don't even know if he remembers. Um, we're just driving, middle of an intersection. He goes, uh, hey, by the way, uh, you are my best man. Uh, cool, dude. I mean, great. Awesome. <laughs> a lot of responsibility here. Just putting a, a, lot, of, a lot of stuff on me here. I think uh, Jared texted me when I was at work and said, hey, I hope you write your speech. And I kind of knew it was Taylor texting Jared to text me to say, I hope you write your speech and don't just wing it with the, with the Bud Lights. So, uh, One of the best compliments I think you can give a man is calling them a brother. And to Jared, all these men up here are a brother. Um, with Jared, it's never about himself or I. It's always about we. And for that main reason, I think Taylor and Jared will be one of the best teams out there. And one of these days, I hope I can become the man and brother that Jared uh, is now. So if we could all raise our glasses and cheers for the new Mr. and Mrs. Jared Kajawa. Bloodshot eyes, I look at you with bloodshot eyes. I couldn't hide it from you tonight. I couldn't keep it from the light. Dry your eyes You didn't need to dry your eyes You couldn't find a tear to cry You couldn't feel enough to try So now you can begin To lift it from your skin The feeling in your heart Flows no more. Flows no more. Give me. Kill you 